effect transducer. You can see this one is some of example here. Okay, so this is some example of the piezoelectric. electric. So actually we have a lot of type on the piezoelectric. electric. Okay, so the construction of piezoelectric electric eh, depends on the manufacturer. But some of uh, example of the piezoelectric, something like this. Lah. Okay, so you can see it's a, like, a, like a coin. Okay, very thin. And then inside this one we have, a, uh, you can, after this I will show you the inside this, uh, this part. Eh. So actually, this is a uh, isolator. Is the uh, is the is the active? Eh? So no need to power supply to on this uh, sensor, right? So automatically, this sensor will be operated. Eh? Right. So you can see this one. Eh? The piezoelectric transducer consists of the crystal uh, crystal material uh, such as a uh, quartz, okay, rochelle uh, salt, and barium tantalum, okay. Uh, titanet, which is uh, produce EMF, electromagnetic force, when they are placed under the stress. Okay, so you can see the figure uh, after that, we show the construction, uh, construction of the piezoelectric transducer and the equivalent circuit of the crystal. Okay, so this is what I mentioned to you. This is uh, some example of the piezoelectric. Actually, this one uh, we use, for example, like uh, my research, I use this one for give the communication in the underwater okay for underwater uh, underwater because we use the uh, acoustic signal okay so this uh, piezoelectric will be generate the emf or sometimes we call the uh, signal the frequency all right the frequency resonance and then uh, this one we can uh, for example we can measure the depth okay the depth for the underwater okay we we give the frequency and then we uh, this sensor will be get reflects uh, the the frequency and then we can measure the time and then from that we can convert into the depth lah. okay for example and then this one also can use for communicate between two uh, robot in the underwater eh? so because the underwater we cannot use the uh, wi-fi okay we cannot use the high frequency so we we have to use the low frequency to communicate okay communicate to each uh, to each robot lah. that's why we use this some of example we can use this one eh? the piezoelectric lah, right so since the transducer have the very good uh, high frequency actually that mentioned to you so uh, the piezoelectric we have a lot of frequency you can set okay you can set for example okay for example this maybe this one uh, maybe around uh, two kilohertz okay four kilohertz okay depend on the size okay actually uh, the size of this coin uh, the size of piezoelectric depends on the it depend on the frequency itself so uh, since the upper the transducer is a very high frequency, they they use the principle of uh, high frequency accelerometer lah. Okay, when the alternating voltage is applied to the crystals, it will vibrate. Okay, vibrates at its natural uh, resonant frequency. Okay, so you can see this one is the actually it's a thin lah, it's a thin. But this is we want to show you the construction of the piezoelectric. So this one. Okay, we have the base and we have the crystal. Okay, this one will be crystal. And then we have the uh, pressure sensing def uh, diaphragm like this. This one, eh? the, the white white uh, color here. So this is the def uh, diaphragm. Okay, diaphragm here. Yeah. So this one will be pressure sensing diaphragm. Lah. So, and then inside this one, inside this, uh, the white color here. So we have the crystal. Lah. Okay, the crystal. This is a uh, construction of the piezoelectric transducer eh? and then this will be uh, generate the resonant frequency we, we generate the frequency and then we can measure lah. for example that I mentioned to you to detect the depth the depth for underwater so we give the frequency and then uh, we uh, measure the time okay measure the time so the frequency will be reflex okay will be reflex for example uh, okay for example this is our ship eh? our ship okay like this right so maybe you can see some example is the we call the fish finder lah. okay some example we use a fish finder or piezoelectric here okay so this is our ocean our depth seabed maybe all right so this will be give the frequency okay we assume that's a straight off line lah. normally we have the angles so we have the angle lah. angle of uh, the this frequency will be travel okay for example we assume as the straight line and then so this frequency will be reflex 
Okay, we reflex and then we measure the time. Lah. So the time, then, then then we can convert into the depth. So what is the depth for? Uh, from, from this position, this sensor, okay, to this sensor, for example, is the 100 uh, meter, for example. All right. So actually, it depends on the type of the piezoelectric. Lah. So depends. Some of the uh, piezoelectric only can travel until uh, 50 meter, okay, until 20 meter. But some of the piezoelectric can travel until uh, 100 meter, 1000 meter. That depends on the type of the crystal, eh? type of material that we use inside the piezoelectric. Eh? Okay, so this is some example. Eh? That's some example. Or we want to communicate, for example, we want to communicate. Okay, we have uh, this one, we can, we have the robot, we can robot one. For example, this one inside the underwater, eh? inside the uh, ocean, for example. And then we, we have we have another one robots so how the robot uh, between two robot to communicate lah. so they use the uh, acoustic signal lah. they use acoustic signal all right so because of uh, high frequency for example 2.4 gigahertz cannot travel eh? cannot travel inside the underwater okay for example if you want to use wireless okay wireless so you, you have to use the low frequency for example range from uh, 10 megahertz okay to 100 megahertz okay this is some example right eh? some example of acoustic signal lah. okay maybe it can travel until uh, 500 megahertz but the size will be the, the the distance will be if the frequency is high okay f frequency is high distance will be lower if frequency will be low so the distance between uh, two robot will be uh, higher lah. so can far okay can far from uh, between two robots this one eh? <laughs> okay so this is a uh, advantages of the piezoelectric so uh, that I mentioned to you is the passive eh, sorry this is the active uh, the piezoelectric is the active so no need to power supply to uh, on the sensor so it will be self-generating and then the disadvantages of a uh, piezoelectric is cannot measure static condition since they are the dynamic response eh? Uh, respond uh, respond to sensor lah. so you can see this one eh? for example like this one so actually it will be give this one will be give okay the pink one okay for example the frequency one eh? we call it f1 so f1 will be uh, travel and then a few seconds will be travel for next f2 that's why it's the dynamic lah. okay this is the dynamic it's not a static okay it's not only one uh, frequency we generate more than uh, more than one lah okay in the times so, okay depends on the uh, type of the uh, piezoelectric okay for example uh, maybe this one will be generate one uh, 10 second will be generate uh, 10 frequency for example eh? for example okay maybe one two until 10 frequency within uh, 10 second okay 10 second that means one second one frequency one second one frequency eh? will be pink here we will give uh, frequency so and then will be reflect lah. will be reflect then we can measure Okay, that's why after that, uh, the, the process will be, we have to the, uh, we call the transducing element. Uh, convert from this frequency to, uh, for the depth, for example. Uh, that's why we need a trans, we call it transducing, uh, transducing element. Okay, transducing element that mentioned to you is to convert to uh, what's value you want to add the formula. For example, for the frequency, uh, we convert into the depth or into the uh, temperature or so on. Okay. That is, we need the transducing lah. So that is the, the uh, difference between the sensor and transducer. Eh? Okay, so the application of the uh, piezoelectric is the uh, high frequency accelerometer lah. They use the accelerometer. Eh? Actually, the accelerometer is to measure the uh, the position, eh? position of the, for example, like uh, our robot. Okay, uh, drones. Okay, mobile robot. They use the accelerator. Eh? accelerator to measure the 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 nav to navigation lah. so example from this position okay to move to this position lah. right so they use the accelerometer okay and then for rotation they use the gyrometer lah. if you have the rotation on the this axis so they use the gyro we call it gyro lah. Uh, gyro okay gyrometer so this one accelerometer will be for example this robot okay robot here will be moved to this one. Okay, they use the accelerometer lah. Oh, okay. So for example, we have the three axis lah. Okay, three axis. Uh, this one we call it Z. Uh, for example, X and Y. All right. So 
the accelerometer will be function to make uh, to measure the movement of the robot lah to x axis for example okay for example to here or to y axis or to z axis eh? that the function of accelerometer lah okay and then the rotation of every axis here okay for example for y axis uh, x axis or uh, z axis we call the gyrometer lah so if you know the when you play the uh, drone for example they have the we call the gyrometer so the gyrometer or accelerometer need to stabilize our okay our drone for example eh? okay so next we go for the temperature transducer okay you can see this one some example here uh, i show uh, in the googles here all right so this is some example of rtd this one rtd okay rtd is stand for uh, resistance temperature detector they use the concept of resistor here and then this one is the we call the thermistor very small okay very very small you can see this one this one is the thermistor and this one is the thermocouple lah. okay uh, thermocouples okay no, normally on thermocouple you can see on the industry a yeah? lot of industry they use the thermocouple okay because of the uh, the operation of the machine so we be high high uh, temperature or very low temperature so this one uh, for RTD and thermistor is a uh, maybe it's a depends on the depends on the type of RTD lah. Okay, but this is a uh, some sensor that we can use to measure the temperature lah. We can use the uh, RTD, thermistor, and thermocouple. So mostly on the industry they use the thermocouple lah. Okay, for example like uh, our project. Okay, for uh, for develop a simple project maybe you can use the uh, RTD or we can use the thermistor lah. Okay, you can see the temperature is the one of the most widely measured and control variable industry. Yes, if you go for industry, lot of machine they use the uh, th temperature thermistor lah. Okay, to know the operating okay the operating temperature of every machine. Okay, so it's uh, more than more than uh, temp operating uh, operating temperature. So we have the signal or we have the warning. Okay, that's why we need. Uh, this temperature sensor eh, to detect any abnormality of our machine. Eh. Okay, so the most of uh, temperature transducer, uh, resistant temperature detector, this one RTD, we call it RTD, thermistor, okay, and thermocouple. Eh. Alright, so you can see the RTD and thermistor uh, here, RTD is thermistor is the passive. That means we need power, we need power supply to on this to uh, RTD function. Right, so if no power supply, so the RTD not function. That we call the passive lah. Okay, so similar like this one, the Mister or RTD. So there is the boss is the uh, passive device. That means we need a uh, power supply to on to operate this the Mister lah. The construction of this Mister to on lah, to detect some upper uh, change of the temperature lah. So for example, for RTD, the resistance change with the temperature lah. So they need uh, electrical supply to give a voltage output. Okay, so we need power supply. That's that's why we call the uh, RTD and thermistor is the passive lah. Okay, compare then thermocouple. Okay, thermocouple is the active transducer. That means no need power supply. Okay, no need power supply lah. Alright, so the thermocouple is the active, no need power supply. Okay, so actually the thermocouple is uh, based on the uh, principle of the generation of thermoelectricity lah. That is the upper uh, principle of the thermocouples. Okay, so we go uh, for the thermal energy. So we have three types of the thermal energy. We have the solids, okay, this is a uh, liquid and gas. Uh, okay, you can see for the solid, the individual atom or molecule are strongly attached, are uh, bond to each other. Okay, so we have two types of the in the solid. We have the non-vibrate molecules and vibrate molecule. Lah. So if the non-vibrate, zero thermal okay, energy. But for the vibration, uh, vibrate molecule will be finite thermal energy. Lah. Okay, that means thermal energy greater than uh, greater than zero. Okay, so for the liquid, the atom or molecule move about in the material. Okay, and then the gas, the atoms, 
or molecule move freely eh? freely and uh, randomly throughout the contents okay the content volume lah. all right so for temperature temperature is the uh, measure of the average energy per molecule of the material right so the temperature is measured using the several temperature unit okay normally we use the kelvin or celsius okay for normally for us we use the Kel uh, celsius eh? uh, degree of the celsius okay and then some of the in the uh, some of the country they use the kelvin okay they use the kelvin some of the country use the celsius normally for our country we use the celsius eh? actually sometimes depends on the type of the uh, temperature sensor lah. Okay, some of the uh, temperature sensor, they use the Kelvin, eh? Kelvin as the unit, okay, as the, their unit, so we have to follow lah. Okay, we have to follow. This means we have to convert, for example, to suit our our country, so we have to convert into Celsius. Lah. They have a formula, eh? formula from Celsius to convert to Kelvin or Kelvin to uh, Celsius, okay. Alright, so uh, we go for the absolute uh, temperature scale. So this scale assigned to the zero temperature to the material of the has no thermal energy, no molecular vibration. Okay, there is two common absolute scale uh, that we call the Kelvin and Rakine. Okay, so this one eh? for absolute eh? for absolute temperature we have two common uh, unit that we use. This is Kelvin and Rakine. Eh? Rakine. Okay, and then another one we have. Okay, so we go for the. Uh, the relationship between the Kelvin and Rakine. So this is formula, okay? This formula to convert from this Kelvin to convert to Rakine. Eh? For example, we have a value on Rakine, so we we want to convert into into Kelvin. So we can use this formula. Eh? So this formula to uh, a relationship between the Kelvin and Rakine. Eh? And then next we have the relative temperature scale. So one is the absolute. Okay, absolute, we have the Kelvin and Rakine, and then another one, we have the relative temperature uh, cells, uh, scale. So, on this one, we have the Celsius and Fahrenheit, okay. So, for this one, we have the uh, Celsius, okay, Celsius relate to the Kelvin, and Fahrenheit relate to Rakine, okay. The both, we have the formula, lah. we have the formula to convert from Celsius to Kelvin, okay, for example, Fahrenheit to Rakine, eh? Okay, so for relative uh, temperature scale is the differ from the absolute lah, only the shift of the zero axis. Okay, right. So this is a formula. Eh? So this is relationship between the uh, relative and absolute temperature. Okay, that I mentioned to you. So for example, from Celsius. Okay, or uh, from uh, we want to measure on Celsius, but the data will be on the Kelvin. So we have to uh, minus two hundred. This is a fix. Okay, this is a fix. The boss is the fixed uh, the fixed formula. Okay, so just for example, we have the uh, we want to measure. Okay, so for example, we have two hundred. Okay, two hundred uh, K. Okay, two hundred Kelvin. Uh, so we want to convert into the Celsius. So T equals to two hundred minus uh, okay seven three point one three. So our Celsius is the negative uh, three point one five. Celsius. For example, eh, this is some example of eh, Celsius. That's mean relationship between the Celsius and the Kelvin. And then also we have the relationship between the Fahrenheit and Rakine. So we have to minus is uh, 400 uh, 59.6. Okay, this is a fixed value. The boss is a constant. Eh? Okay, those constant. And then so next we have the relationship between the Celsius and Fahrenheit. So we use this formula. Eh? Okay, for example, we have a uh, hundred. Okay, we have hundred Celsius. So nine over five, uh, hundreds. Okay, plus thirty two lah. So this is the unit in the Fahrenheit. Okay, this is a uh, temperature in Fahrenheit lah. Okay, uh, for example, this one. Okay, nine hundred, nine hundred divided by five. Okay, plus thirty two. Okay, plus thirty two. Okay, so our in Fahrenheit. 200, 200 to Fahrenheit. Okay, so this is a, a unit. Okay, F unit for uh, temperature lah. Okay, temperature for Fahrenheit. Okay, so this is a formula. This is a fixed formula, right? To from uh, Celsius to Kelvin 
or Fahrenheit to recan or you can use to convert into the, for example, we have the 100 Celsius. You want to convert to Kelvin. All right, so we can use this formula, TK. Okay, so TC uh, plus 273.15, for example. So that's plus, okay, so the value is in, uh, in Kelvin will be 373.15 is the in the Kelvin eh? okay for example eh? some example here lah. so this both relationship okay, between the uh, relative absolute is this by using this formula lah. okay and also this one eh? uh, Celsius to and Fahrenheit okay so next we go for the uh, temperature sensor is the RTD okay you can see on before this I show the very small uh, sensor it's uh, based on the resistor. Eh? Okay, actually, this is a change on the resistor. Lah. All right, so RTD is the, we call the stand for resistant temperature detector. Lah. This means the changes of resistor. Okay, so RTD commonly use uh, platinum, nickel, copper wire, uh, whose uh, resistor vary with temperature. Lah. So, depends on eh, the dimension to you. So, some of the, that depends on the type of uh, material that used on the RTD. Some of the use the platinum. On the platinum, we have the range, lah, the range, temperature range. For example, the nickel, we have the temperature range and then also the copper wire. Lah. So we also we have the temperature range. But this uh, temperature will be varying with resistance. Lah. So if resistance will change, so temperature will be changed. That's why we call the resistant temperature detector. Right? So this is our formula, eh? formula for RTD. All right, so to calculate the uh, RTD resistant, okay, at the temperature is a zero uh, so, uh, T uh, in the T Celsius given by this formula, lah. All right? So this is the reference, okay, T reference okay, equal uh, multiplied by one plus alpha uh, multiplied by delta T. Delta T is different between uh, operating and uh, reference temperature. Okay, so this is a uh, formula. Lah formula to measure the uh, RTD resistance. Eh? Okay, that I mentioned to you. Eh? So this is a, uh, for example, like uh, material used in the RTD. So every material, they have the different range. Huh? For example, like copper, eh? copper from negative uh, 151 to 100 to plus, uh, plus 149. Okay, and then they have the resistance coefficient. Okay, this one, eh? 0 0.0042. Okay, so that's why every uh, material they have different range. That's why when we want to use our based on our uh, apply to our system, we have to know lah the operating range of our machine. For example, eh? so our machine maybe operate in more than one hundred. Uh, one hundred, for example. So we have one hundred uh, degrees Celsius. So maybe we can use the platinum, okay, platinum, or maybe you can use the uh, tungsten. Okay, depends. Depends on the. Uh, type of uh, material uh, application that we want to use okay but i think if you're different this one so the the price will be uh, will be changed lah. for example like platinum so very uh, compared than others so the platinum very very uh, expensive compared than others lah. for example we can use the copper because of the uh, or nickel so maybe the the price is not uh, the not expensive lah, compared than pl uh, platinum or tungsten because of the range the range of frequency, uh, range of the temperature, lah. so very wide, okay, compared than uh, others, eh? okay, so, and then we go for the, you can see, but for the platinum, RTD provide high accuracy, lah. high accuracy and stability because of the range, eh? the range of the, this, using the platinum material, so very high, okay, from 200, negative 200 to, uh, 800 something, eh, 850 Celsius. Lah. That's why the wide operating range. Okay. Uh, so, and then the advantage of RTD, linearity over the wide operating range and wide operating range, higher temperature operation and better stability at uh, higher temperature. Okay. So, the RTD are not applicable, uh, not editable to application requiring the fast response and where uh, small area temperature sensing. Lah. Okay. You can see this one. Eh, that the advantages of the RTD is the it's not it's a slow okay it's the slow response eh? that's why if our system need a fast response okay 
so we can use we cannot use the RTD because the RTD required the fast uh, not uh, not suitable for the fast response. Okay, maybe the RTD is the slow response. Some this is uh, some this uh, advantages of the RTD, and then also not suitable for the small area temperature sensing lah. Maybe on the okay small size, for example like uh, storage box. Okay, not suitable use the RTD. Okay, because of the uh, okay the this advantages this uh, uh, disadvantages of the uh, RTD. Okay, and then the most RTD instrument use the Wickstone Bridge lah. Okay, you can see this one eh. This part they use the RTD lah. So this one will be uh, the this uh, resistor will be changed depends on the temperature lah. Okay, the concept will be almost similar using the uh, using the Wickstone lah. So to balance this one, so we have to okay using the formula eh. Uh, Z1 over Z2 equals to Z, uh, Z3 over Z4. And then for Z3 is uh, this one, uh, R, okay, the Z, contoh for Z3, eh? so this one, uh, okay, wait. okay, Z3 here, for example, eh, like uh, no, normal, RT, normal uh, western, so, so this is, we call the R, uh, this one R4, uh, okay, this one R3, we declare as maybe we can change this one the R3, this one R4, this one R3. So total R3 equals to R1 plus 1 RP plus RL2. Okay, this is for R here. Okay, R here. Lah. So this one will be because of the series. So just add lah. Uh, R1, okay, RL1 plus RP plus RL2. Okay, this is the concept of the using the wisdom bridge lah. okay and then we go for the thermistor okay so also you can uh, see on the uh, the previous slide i showed some example of the thermistor very small okay and also this thermistor is the one of the temperature transducer it's one of the temperature sensor okay and then the type of the thermistor we have two type lah. we have the negative temperature coefficient right so we or we call it ntc this one is NTC or uh, another one is the positive temperature coefficient PTC eh? so of the resistor lah. so that means we have two types of the thermistor one is the negative another one is the positive lah. positive temperature coefficient eh? note that the decrease of the thermistor resistance with temperature is non-linear right so this means the decrease of thermistor resistance this means our R will uh, decrease so the the temperature is our T is non-linear, non-linear, eh? it's not linear, lah. it's non-linear, non okay, so for NTC is the negative, so it habit decreasing electrical resistance with increase the environmental temperature, and for PTC, it habit increasing electrical resistance with increase the environmental temperature, right, so that is different, lah. Okay? that is different between the NTC and this one r will be uh, decreased but the temperature okay environment temperature will be increased this one the r will be increased and the temperature will be increased okay that is the difference between the ntc and ptc lah. okay and then uh, next figure we will show the graph for resistance and temperature for the ntc thermistor okay so the resistance at the room temperature is the 35 uh, degrees Celsius for typical commercial unit range from uh, 100 ohm to 10 mega ohms. Lah. So the figures, uh, next figure will be show the various of the mister. Okay, so this one. Eh. So this is graph for uh, resistance okay, uh, versus temperature for NTC for the negative. So it will be decreased. Eh. So the, that means to you. So the temperature will be increased, but this one, uh, the, the, sorry, the resistance increase, so the temperature will be decreased. Right, so you can see this one as an example of the, this one is the NTC, eh? so the NTC. Okay, so this is our, some example of the uh, thermistor. Okay, you can see the type of the uh, Thermistor, some of the thermistor they use the this type, okay, you can see eh? some of the use the root type and some of the 
the mistake they use the washer type and also the bit type lah. Okay, so inside this, the this is construction of the uh, of the thermistor lah. For example, eh, very small lah. So they have the uh, steel washer, spring, right? So viper bushing and lead washer and so on. So, so this one will be inside the thermistor lah. So the the type depends on the application lah. Some of the application they use the this type, and some of the application they use the root type and washer type and so on. Okay, next is the thermocouple. Eh? Thermocouple also one of the of the temperature sensor. There is the active. Eh? There is the active no need uh, power supply to operate this uh, sensor. Alright. So the thermocouple are voltage generating sensor in which uh, an electromagnetic force EMF produced in the proportional of uh, proportional to the temperature. Okay, the thermocouple is constructed uh, by two different metals or wire here okay we call it metal one or metal two okay so so or this one eh metal one and and this is a wire which connected uh on their both end eh? okay so the wire loops produce the emf okay which is uh we call the seatback effects and then the emf produce is proportional to the difference in the temperature between two junction Alright, so the formula for calculate the seatback is uh, given by this one. Eh? So this is formula for uh, calculate the seatback. E equals to alpha. Normally it's the constant. Eh? Constant. Okay, T1 minus T2. So this one eh, from this one. Okay, T1 minus T2 lah. T1 minus T2. This one. Eh? T is the junction. Eh? Junction temperature in the Kelvin. So this uh, in the Kelvin. Eh? So that's why when we... Uh, this one alpha will be volt, volt per Kelvin and then multiply by Kelvin so we cancel out Kelvin so that's why the seatback EMF in the volts okay in the volts the value eh, the unit for seatback mapping is the volt lah. so we cancel out the Kelvin so this uh, EMF in the uh, volts okay in the volt in the voltage lah. Okay, so the uh, thermocouples, practically we have three wire uh, thermocouple system is used to measure the temperature. Right, so you can see the next figure. Tm is measured than, uh, is, we call a measured temperature. Tr is the reference uh, temperature uh, junction. And metal A and B is the thermocouple wire. And metal C is the connect to the thermocouples to the uh, measurement apparatus. Uh. So you can see this one. Eh? So we have this one. Eh? So this is a uh, TM measured, okay, this one measured, this one reference, okay, so this is wire 1, okay, wire A, wire B, and wire C, lah. so you can see the function of uh, C is the to measure apparatus, eh? and then to use the thermocouple to measure the temperature, so the reference temperature must be known, okay, so we have to know, we have to know the reference temperature here, okay, our reference, what is the, our reference for this part and this part, lah. Okay, and then the reference junction must be held at the same temperature. So the reference junction can be moved to a remote location using the extension wire of the same type of the thermocouples. Uh, wire I shown in the figure, next figure. All right, so this is some example. Eh? And then for thermocouple, we have uh, four types of thermocouple. Okay, you can see this one. Uh, figure, one uh, figure one is the three wire thermocouple system. And second is a B is the extension of we put extension of the wire in the thermocouple system. Okay. So there is several standard uh, type of the thermocouple which is uh, based on the their wire material. Okay. So thermocouple actually the the but the type of the thermocouple depends actually depends on the wire the wire material. Okay. So for each type of their own range, they have their own range, linearity and sensitivity. Lah. For example, for thermocouple, they have the type J, type K, type S, and also the type E. Lah. Okay, so you can see. So every every type, they have a different uh, range, okay, different linearity and also different sensitivity. Lah. So the next figure show the material used for several types of the thermocouple and some of the thermocouple curve. Right, so it can be seen from the graph. The type of J and K thermocouples are more sensitive uh, 
then type S lah. So that means to you for thermal couple, they have uh, four type lah. Four type of thermal couple, they have the J, K, S and E. Okay, so example this one eh. So this is every thermal couple, they have different, uh, different output lah. We call it different uh, equation eh, different uh, linearity. So for example, this one for uh, type E, type J, type K and type S lah. So for example, for every type, they have the spec lah. That's why if you want to design the, uh, your bit, you want to use the thermocouple, so you, you have to know what type of the, uh, the thermocouple that you use for J type, okay? So if you're J type, so you have to refer to J type table. So after that, I will show some table lah. So every table, they have different type of the thermocouples, okay? We have four types. Okay, for every every uh, thermocouple type, they have different different spec lah, different uh, table. Eh? Okay, so this some example. You can see this is some example of thermocouple. All right, this one eh? the I mentioned the previous uh, the first slide also I show the uh, some example similar like this. This is thermocouple. Maybe if you go for industry, the a lot of industry use this one eh? thermocouple. But the types it depend on the uh, industry lah. Some of the industry they use the J or some industry they use the K depends on the uh, application of the machine. Eh? Okay, so this one, eh? so thermocouple table. Okay, so this one you can see this one. We have the table. Every thermocouple they have the table, lah. table eh? to give the voltage that result for a particular of the thermocouple when reference junction at the zero Celsius. Okay, so each type of their own range that I mentioned to you, they have the own range, linearity, and sensitivity. Okay, for example, eh, this some example, the J type thermal couple at uh, zero Celsius reference. Okay, for 200, okay, for 201 uh, degrees Celsius, what is the, uh, this value? Okay, this is uh, on the voltage, is the 11.34 milli volt. So this one come from the table, eh? uh, I will show after this. Okay, for example, we have, uh, we want to measure, okay, uh, we measure this temperature is uh, 200, uh, the resources or this uh, our system display on 11.334 millivolt. So what is the temperature? So from this one, we have to use the table. Okay, I will show some example of the table. Eh? So this one. Eh? Okay, so 210. 210. Okay, so you can see 210. Okay, 210 will be here. This one 200 and then this one will be plus 10 eh? because our temperature is 110 resources. Eh? So this is our value. Okay, 11 point, okay, you can see, eh? but make sure, the first, make sure this is uh, uh, the, the correct table. Okay, so we use the J table. So this is a uh, iron constant. Okay, so this is a uh, standard, okay, standard table for J type. So you just can use this one. For example, if you measure, you can get uh, 11.3 for millivolt. Eh? So from this table, okay, for example, we can get this one, ten, uh, uh, 10 and then this one 200 this one we want to measure 210 so that is the value lah. okay for example we have two 210 degrees Celsius okay we want to get the output okay so the output will be 11.34 millivolt eh? so that's why we get this one okay this value it's come from the uh, come from the table okay next for example we have the uh, okay we have the same 275 Okay, we have 275 and the other one we have, oh sorry, the one is uh, 100. Okay, from this table you can see lah. Alright, so this one 7 plus 15. So this one eh. Okay, that's why we can get. Uh, okay, okay, or we can do another one, we can. Uh, Minus, okay, minus lah. Okay, that's why you can get this one lah, the value, okay, 70 point, and then another one is a 15. 15 point 3, 3, 3. Okay, this one eh, for 70 is a, is, okay, this one eh, for uh, 270 is a 14.31. Okay, this one is the mistake, or maybe some of the measure uh, when you measure up uh, when we read from the table make sure it's the correct okay all right so this one suppose is the 14.3 eh? this one eh? is the on this part 
Okay, maybe uh, previous the show here. Suppose maybe the the answer the correct answer is the fourteen point. Uh, point ni lah. Point uh, the fourteen point three uh, three nine. Eh? And then another one is the uh, plus. Uh, okay, maybe around here lah. Maybe around here. Okay, uh, two hundred two hundred eighty-eight. Maybe around this one. Okay, this one maybe uh, two hundred eight. Okay, uh, plus around this one lah. Both this one. Okay, that's why the answer will be uh, eighteen. Apa uh, fifteen point three? Okay, fifteen point three lah. Around this one eh. Around this one. Uh, so this one you can you can use the mathematical lah. So so because this from this one okay so two hundred fifty two hundred fifty plus thirty is the two hundred eighty. So we need another eight. Okay, we have we need another eight. So we know this from uh this value to this value is the uh fifteen point five minus by fifteen point two two. Okay, we get the uh, the different here and then divide by 10 okay divide by 10 so for example divide by 10 15.5 minus 15.22 divide by 10 okay so and then multiply by 8 okay uh, plus okay so the answer will be uh, 0 0.224 and then plus with 15.22 that's why the answer is uh, the answer suppose is 15.44 eh? So for this one, 15, the correct is a 15.44 milli volt. Okay, milli volt. Because okay, from this one we know is the range from 30 to 35 is the 10. Uh, sorry, it's the 5. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's not 10. Okay, sorry. So 15.5 minus 15.22 uh, divided by 5. Okay, divide by 5, multiply by uh, okay, another uh, 3. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, suppose here, eh? uh, sorry, eh? so suppose this one, 200, 288, okay, this between, between here, okay, between this one, eh? so plus uh, 35, is the 235, okay, 35, so we need another 3, we need another 3 here, okay, from this one, eh? alright, so that's why this one, uh, the range between the both here, so we divide by, Divide by five, and then multiply by three. We need uh, another three, eh? Another three here. So that is the answer, lah. Okay, this one. Uh, today I will, after this, we go for the uh, some example, eh? Some example of this uh, using the uh, the table. Okay. All right. So next, uh, when the temperature or the output voltage value is not given in the table. Alright, so it's necessary to use the interpolation equation. Okay, so that's why we use this formula. Eh? Okay, they use this formula. Lah. Okay, so they use the uh, interpolation equation. So Vm equals to Vl. Okay, Vm is the measured, eh? measured voltage and Vm is the temperature, measured temperature. temperature. Alright, so for Vm equal to Vl plus Vh minus Vl over th minus tl all right so multiply by uh, so this one uh, I, we have to use this formula eh? so this one uh, we have to use this formula lah. we have the we use the interpolation equation okay that's why uh, we got the the different answer eh? so this one we cannot use uh, straightforward use this one eh? uh, before this i mentioned to you so we have to use this formula lah. we have to use this formula eh? interpolation uh, equation sorry yeah so we have to use this formula. Okay, from the table. Eh? So for example, VH and VL, the higher and lower for the voltage in table are here. Eh? So for example, like this, we have to use this one. Eh? For example, we have to use this and this point. Okay, yes. So this one we call the voltage uh, uh, lower and this one, this one voltage higher. Okay, voltage higher. Okay. So this one, uh, the use for uh, formula, eh? and then for calculate the temperature measured. So using this formula, lah. okay. <clears throat> okay. 
Right, so maybe it's, uh, after this we go for example, uh, we go for the example, right, so when the reference junction of the thermocouple uh, are not at the zero Celsius, then the table must be, uh, table value must be shifted uh, down, up or down, uh, okay, and then the reference junction at the higher temperature than zero Celsius, then the all table value must be shift, uh, shifted down, uh, okay, so for example, uh, find the output voltage for the J, uh, type J thermocouple at the uh, 50, 150 Celsius with the reference temperature is the, the uh, 30 Celsius. Uh. Okay, actually this one that is come from the, okay, we have to refer the table. Uh. Okay, we have to refer to the tables. Okay, from the table, we want to uh, 500, uh, 150 and okay, from this one, uh, 150. Okay, and then uh, 150. Okay, and then it's okay. 150. Eight here. So we got here 150. Okay, so another one is the uh, okay from zero. Eh, this is from zero. The is a this. Okay, from zero. So we got a is a 1.5. Uh, 4 1.54 uh, milliampere. Eh? So just sub, uh, just minus lah. So 8 minus by actually this uh, not not in uh, not in the ampere. Eh? This one it will be in the voltage. Okay. So the output voltage. Eh? That's why here the output voltage not ampere. Eh? So this one is wrong. Lah. So it's supposed to be eh? okay millivolt millivolt. Eh? So 8 millivolt. Minus by one uh, one point five four millivolt. Eh? So the answer would be six point four uh, four six millivolts. Okay. The unit the unit for output voltage is the volt. Eh? It's the output voltage. It's not output current. Eh? So that's why it's, this one we made uh, some mistake here. Eh? Okay. You can cancel out the A. So we change to the V lah in the volt. Eh? Okay. So next we go for the photodiode. Okay. The photodiode. The reverse bias semiconductor diode pass on the, the very uh, small leakage current. The friction of the one micro ampere in the typical size silicon diode if the junction is not ex exposed to the light. Okay, so this one to measure the uh, light. Lah. Okay, so under uh, illumination, the current rise almost in the direct proportional to the light intensity. Lah. So the figure, next figure, I will, uh, will be show the symbols and illumination characteristic of the silicon photodiodes. When the device operate uh, with the reverse voltage applied, so it function as the photoconductive device. Right, so when operating without the reverse voltage, so it function as the photovoltaic uh, device. So they have the photodiode, they have the two types. Uh, okay, they have the con, uh, photoconductive or photovoltaic. Uh. So for photoconductive, so when the device operate the reverse voltage apply eh? okay so but for the photovoltaic okay when they're operating without without the reverse voltage so the function for this device we call the photovoltaic and for we have the reverse voltage apply so we have the photo connective okay so this is a symbol for photodiode eh? this is a symbol for photodiode actually maybe some of this one we have the lighting lah. Uh, the light symbol of the light okay and then this is a uh, illuminations of characteristics okay <clears throat> okay you can see this one for reverse voltage and this one for uh forward, forward voltage lah. okay that's why you can see this one eh? so for reverse we have the conductive region and for the forward we have the voltage region lah. okay so this is a uh, actually this is a type of the uh the the apa the thermodiode lah okay for to, uh, photodiode has the advantage uh, over the photoconductive cell so its response time is much faster so that it can be used in the application which is the light fluctuation occur at the quite higher frequency lah okay so 
figure. Next figure, we will show the image of photodiode. Eh? Okay, this one. Eh? So maybe some of you already see this one. Eh? Okay, so this one is the, we call the photodiode. Okay, maybe uh, some of you use this one or some. Normally on our, what, my, uh, for example, like uh, FYP project, they use this one. Eh? Most of the FYP use this one eh? because of the very, okay, very cheap. Eh? Very cheap. This one photo is very cheap, around what, uh, what you get. Oh. Okay. Then next, we go for the photo transistor. Okay, photo transistor is the photo diode, uh, which the added uh, junction, which is uh, made it and the PNP device. Okay, photo transistor provide the much larger output current than the photo diode for the given area of the light illumination. Okay, so this means that photo transistor is more sensitive than the photodiode lah. so much uh, as a uh, hundred times okay compare then uh, photo uh, photodiode okay so the figure uh, next figure I'll show the construction <coughs> symbol and the output characteristic of the photo transistor lah. so however the photo transistor has the lower switch time than the photodiode so this is a construction of the photo uh, transistor eh? so we have the construction of the this one eh? so we, we have the two types eh? npn or pnp all right for example eh? so this one npn eh? no parking eh? oh, npn so another one we have the uh, pnp eh? depends on the uh, on this one is the output characteristic of our photo transistor eh? okay so this is construction eh? this is construction of the uh, transistor so we have three type three leg okay for the transistor we have the emitter base and collector eh? okay this is on the electronic eh? electronic part okay so this is symbol uh, symbol for photo this is uh, transistor all right so okay so that's all for uh, topic okay topic for sensor transistor i think that mentioned to you eh? so this uh, sensor transistor is more on the electrical uh, more on the electrical or electronic okay electronic sensor uh, eh? okay so we, because of the this uh, Okay, this topic belong to uh, uh, faculty of electrical. So, lot of sensor we just cover on the electrical part. Lah. Okay, for example, maybe uh, some of you want to do the develop the robot using the simple uh, simple sensor using the RTD or photodiode. Okay, for or you, you, you want to use the uh, the piezoelectric. Okay, that's why uh, for this topic. Okay, for this topic we just cover for the simple uh, electrical sensor lah. okay so that I mentioned to you before this so the previous class uh, we have the mechanical eh? we have the mechanical sensor but we not cover in our 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 syllabus lah. so for example like mechanical we have the pressure okay pressure sensor we have the flow sensor and then we have the uh, force sensor and so on that in the mechanical lah. so if uh, this subject belong to mechanical maybe they have to put uh, more on mechanical lah, mechanical sensor but this one more on the electrical sensor lah. but the electrical is very small and very not not too expensive lah. for example like uh, photo uh, photo electric okay piezo electric okay photo diode is a uh, very cheap around one ringgit or two ringgits okay that's why uh, we focus on this okay on the simple uh, sensor lah. Okay, so that's all. Uh, finish for our syllabus for our uh, and then uh, for our subject is the principle of instrumentation and measurement. All right. So before that, uh, before I end of the class, so I just got one one question from your friend. Okay, so to to refresh. Okay, okay. I, I will stop share here first. Okay, to refresh uh, using the calculator, eh, using the calculator to convert from uh, uh, from rectangular to polar or polar to rectangular. Eh. Okay, I will show some example. Eh. Some example how you want to convert. This one uh, related to the uh, AC, uh, AC bridge. Eh, AC bridge. Okay, so this is some of uh, your friends. So uh, last, last week, uh, that's why I forgot to explain to to this uh, student and then i just okay after we have the time so i just uh, okay uh, use this time to explain uh, to explain how to convert eh, how to convert uh, from rectangular to uh, polar or polar to 
rectangular okay for example okay for example is our evidence eh hmm. okay so for example we have the our uh, impedance one z1 equals to 8 plus 5j okay oh. so this one eh how to convert into this one we call the uh, rectangular eh we call it rectangular form okay rectangular form so how to convert to the uh, polar form okay polar form like this one so we have r r is the magnitude and this one is the angle eh? okay this is the angle how to convert using the calculator eh? so i just this is just a revision eh? revision okay so if you have the calculator on your uh, on your uh, so you can see eh? how to convert this one eh? how to convert from uh, this rectangular to the polar form lah. so you can first you have to change okay you have to change your calculator to the uh, mode clip mode okay change to first step you have to change your calculator to the complex lah okay tekan, uh, first press the mode okay press mode change to the uh, complex eh? number two press number two number two will be complex be c sorry the c m p l x okay you can see eh so you can uh, check on your uh, press mode so you can see the first is the com or complex so press two lah press two go for the complex okay and then after the com complex so and then just uh, press the eight first press eight okay your calculator press eight and uh, press plus okay and then press five and sorry six okay this one you have to uh, press in eng okay press eng all right okay this one okay so this one will be if you click eng it will be uh, eight plus six i okay you can see this one eh okay you can see on your calculator lah. so eight plus six I, eh? so you can see your calculator will be displayed like this it will be displayed like this and then you have next step you have to click uh, press the shift shift okay shift okay shift and then press the plus here eh? okay this one if you see on the plus so on the plus they have the here eh? on the symbol of the plus they have the rectangular to polar okay you can see eh? on your calculator they have the polar form lah, rectangular to polar uh, shift plus okay shift plus so okay so and then we'll be uh, represent the symbol lah. you can see on your calculator will be symbol we represent the symbol lah. so r uh, r is the magnitude and uh, angle lah. so this theta is the angle lah. okay then <coughs> you can uh, shift and then you can click the uh, submission lah. okay plus this one okay when you press this one okay so will be display r equals to 10 <coughs> okay r equal to 10 eh? so when you press this one okay so the the, the calculator will be uh, show the value of r okay value of r the magnitude okay value of magnitudes and then click shift you want to change you want to measure this one the the angular uh, the angular uh, so shift okay shift and press another one here okay shift okay so will be next will be display this value lah. okay will be 36 point uh, eight seven degrees okay so this is uh, from uh, rectangular to polar eh? to polar so this is some revision lah. okay some revision how to use your calculator to convert from uh, rectangular to uh, to polar eh? so next okay i will show you some example uh, from polar okay we use this uh, example 10 36.8 uh, 7 Celsius. okay this use this uh, z z1 Okay, this one, Z1, to convert into rectangular, eh? Convert into the rectangular, lah. 
All right, so similar. First, you have to uh, press one zero, press ten. Okay, press the first step. Uh, press ten lah. Okay, I will assume it's a ten lah. Eh? Mana one zero. Okay, and then you have to click the shift. Okay, shift. Okay, so this one shift after shift, you have to click the negative. Okay, uh, it's a minus. So on the you can see on the symbol on the minus is the rectangular lah. A plus uh, B I. Okay, B I. You can see eh on the on the on the your uh, button here on the neg uh, minus button on the top they have the symbol of A plus B I. Okay, A plus B I, and then uh, substitute the value lah. The value for uh for degrees eh value of your degrees 36 36.87 celsius and then you have to press the shift okay and then press minus okay press minus okay press minus here Oh sorry, this one eh, this one is not minus, it's the symbol for, uh, this one eh, symbol this one. Okay, this one will be, uh, if you see this one, the on the top, this this part will be symbol of the, uh, sorry, this one here, this one suppose here, A plus B, I, this one is a symbol, okay, this one for symbol for, uh, uh, for the angle eh, for the angle. So this one is the minus, we have the, uh, so here okay so on the top on the top we have the you can see on the top we have the symbol for angular here okay and then this is minus okay this one will be sh show the b plus uh, a plus b i and then last is the uh, click the okay and then okay so this one will be uh, if you press this one will be show the value of the a Okay, value of A is the 8. And then you have shift. Hit shift. Okay, press this one. And then will be this one will be represent as the symbol of B. Okay, symbol of B lah. Alright, so this one will be 6. Huh? Okay, this why the answer will be Z equals to 8 plus uh, B I. Okay, or sum of B J lah. Okay. Alright, so this is uh, some revision from uh, using your character to convert from uh, polar form to rectangular form and rectangular form to rectangular form. Uh. Okay, so hopefully you can uh, do the uh, your quiz, eh? your quiz on quiz number, quiz like on take home quiz. Eh? So the submission I think uh, this this week, uh, you can check on the, on the team. I think uh, on this Friday, okay, you have to submit before this Friday, okay, before this Friday. All right, so that's all for uh, today. I think we are finished for our syllabus for subject uh, BEKG 1, uh, 1, 2, 3, 3, principle of instrumentation and measurement. All right, so next, okay, so tomorrow we have no class. We, we can focus on your quiz, okay, the home quiz, right, okay, no class, that means no online, lah. Tomorrow is not online. You just focus on your uh, take home quiz. You have to submit uh, this week, All right? So next week we uh, we try to cover for the tutorial, right? tutorial for thermocouples. Uh, sorry, thermocouples. The tutorial for the sensor and transducer, right? And then some revision on the final exam, right? Okay. So <laughs> that's all for today, All right? So if you have any question you don't worry you can ask me on the group or you can whatsapp personally so i will if you have we have the time okay i will explain like this okay this is some of the example uh, your friend uh, because maybe you have forgot this one how to convert from uh, rectangular to uh, polar or polar to rectangular on the topic of the ac eh? ac they use this one eh? okay they use this one okay so right so that's all for today Okay, so thank you very much. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, make sure that eh? so tomorrow no uh, online class. So just focus on your uh, take home quiz. Eh? <clears throat> okay, okay, thank you very much. Okay, Assalamualaikum.
Thank you, Doctor. Waalaikumsalam. Thank you, Doctor. Okay, welcome. Okay.